Hey y'all, hey, it's Bicita. It is time for Business Convos and Coffee and I have two special guests as you can see and I think that it's appropriate because I have, who, who do I have? Me. What's your Joey. name? All right. Daddy. And what's his name? Joey. So I have the Joeys here with me and we are talking today about should you claim your kids even if they are in college even if they are seven years old if they're yeah. 24 years old they have their own job when do you claim your kids and when do you stop claiming your kids i'm going to be quick because i have another kid and she has a program this morning but i wanted to give you guys advice and we want to talk about it about it so Joey when do you think you should stop claiming your kids when you stop should be at the legal age the tax what's the age. legal age 18 18 even Joey knows that okay the legal age is 18 but it is not 18 okay the legal age at 26 yeah they come off your insurance at 26 Joey says the legal age is how old Joey 18 18 you think you're gonna be grown at 18 uh, yeah you're not 20 20 no you still not so at 20 at 18 your mama and your dad we're still gonna claim you on our taxes because more than likely you're gonna be in college right or even if you decide that you don't want to go to college and you living in my house so if they live in your house okay if they make less than twelve thousand dollars if they like they live with you they eat your food they depend on you are they grown joey Yes. No, they're not. No, they not. They're not grown. They're not grown, and you should claim them. So, even though you say, oh, my kid is in college, should I claim them? Yes, because you are providing the support for their housing. So, make sure that you claim them. All right, there are certain tax credits that are available for parents. These tax credits are available for when you have small kids like this. So, if you have kids that are 17 and under, okay, and let me just say, 16 and under there is a credit called the child tax credit last year the government was given that credit back early and some of you guys got the credit early and so it lowered your tax refund okay in this case the tax credit is back this year if you have a 16 year old or younger child on your tax return and you don't make too much money you will get the child tax credit tax credits is free money all right if your income is at a low value or lower or you consider low income you can get what's called the earned income credit that is up to almost six thousand dollars and it is between let's say 800 if you have no kids if you have no kids there's a tax credit it's called the earned income credit you actually have to earn income to get the credit okay and if you earn income you can get the credit as long as you don't earn too much it's like a low income tax credit okay if you're no an entrepreneur too much no too much no too much money yeah. too much money sometimes people like too much money but we don't want too much money for tax purposes our goal is for taxes is to, is to let the government know how low our money is right our our goal for when we're trying to get financing is to let our financer know how high our money is okay now we're talking about tax if you're if you qualify for the low income tax credit which is also called the low income tax credit then you can get between three and six thousand dollars now if you have a child in college or in private school make sure that you are picking up the cost that you have to send them to school you're required to send them to school you want to make sure that you get the child care credit even if they're not a child and they may be special needs or you have a dependent that's a grown-up if they're on your taxes you may qualify what's called the dependent care credit talk to your accountant hopefully that's me if it's not me tell the person preparing your taxes that you need to consider this credit 
all right? The next credit is called the American Opportunity Credit. This is the credit that is available to parents who have children in college. Okay, let me say this. When your child turns 17 years old, y'all, you are no longer going to get that child tax credit. Okay, so sad. You're going to lose the child tax credit. But the year that your child goes to college, I'm talking to the parents out there that have a senior, a 17-year-old. They're probably a senior in college, right? And they're going to college in August. You're going to lose the child tax credit, okay, for that senior on your 2022 taxes. That's the taxes we're doing right now during tax season. But when it's time to file your taxes again, you could qualify for what's called the American Opportunity Tax Credit. Even though your child is 18 to 24, you want to make sure you claim them on your taxes because that credit is up to $2,500 that you get in free money on your taxes, okay? So let's talk to somebody. Make sure you're claiming your kids even if they think they're grown. If you qualify for the low income credit, you would get the American Opportunity 2,500 and you can get another three to $6,000 in what's called the earned income credit for having children on your taxes. So that is why I say your kids are not grown. I don't care how old they are. Joey, tell the people how old is grown again? What'd you say earlier? 24. 20? <laughs> yes, 24 is a good job. You listen to your mama. Yes. He listened to his mama, okay? When they're 25, unless they're special needs or something like that, then you would keep them on your taxes as a dependent. But if it talks like a duck, walk like a duck, talk like a duck, if they're dependent, if they still qualify as a dependent on your taxes, I want you to make sure that you claim that 24-year-old. If they still are considered a dependent in the eyes of the IRS, let them file their own return, yes. They can still file their own return as a dependent. It's called a dependent return. Probably you should make sure the person doing your taxes does their taxes. I do my dependent returns at a discount. That's what I got for y'all. Hey, if you're interested in working with me, I help people get tax strategy, financial strategy, so that you guys can build value and work with the right accountant. If you're a small business owner, you need to be working with a business accountant. I'm a business accountant, okay? I have a clinic coming up next Saturday and I have discounted it. This clinic is $9.97. It's a thousand dollar clinic. I am offering it for $450. It is a live clinic. If you're interested in coming so you can be tax free ish so that you can be tax free and get more tips like this so that you can get your tax bill down and get refunds. You want to be in my be tax free ish tax aid clinic okay it is this saturday all right if this is you send me an inbox okay to info info at taxplus365.com what's that again joe what's info that? at taxplus365.com all right y'all i'll see you guys again probably in the morning and if you want to work with me live then join me for my b tax free ish clinic next week in atlanta and i'm glad oh and i only have 16 seats bye y'all